everybody, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin. I think the lighting's kind of weird here. Uh, I got a light going out. Anyway, my name's Justin. I am running for the king. I'm a part-time online reseller. I sell it here out of this shed and uh, it's been fairly rough. At least I try to be an online reseller. Uh, last week was pretty terrible. Uh, it was like a punch in the gut and you know, I, I try to stay as positive as, as I can but uh, it was a little rough. Anyway, this video is all about things I'm selling this week. Today's the first day. It's the beginning of the video. You know, that's usually where I put the first day. And it is the 2nd of April. Uh, it's Tuesday, the 2nd of April. I have only three sales so far. The first one is a DVD CD combo, so it should be back there on my DVD shelf. Let's go. All right, it's gonna be actually up here in the top corner. Uh, let's see, Healing the Soul of a Woman. It's a Joyce Meyer DVD and CD set. This sold on offer $5.39 plus shipping. And then I have two items on Macari that sold and one is a home decor item. It's some uh, metal signs. And I think I, I think I see it. Let me turn you around. It should be right there between the boxes and the bubble wrap. Yes, here they are. Uh, these are transformer signs. Uh, let me pull them out of the bubble wrap and I'll show you what they look like. I think these are from Hobby Lobby. There's two uh, metal signs. This one's Bumblebee and this one's Optimus Prime. And I've had these listed for a while. I think I paid $4, $5 for the pair uh, at yard sale season last year, right at the end. I knew they weren't of high value, but I knew I would sell them for more than five, and they did. They sold for $15 plus shipping. Sold on Macari, no fees right now. And so uh, $15 once these get delivered and everything uh, will be mine. So that's not bad at all, uh, better than I think they were listed for a little bit more on eBay. And uh, after fees, I think it would have made less. So it worked out that I sold them on Macari. And then the other item I have is a Pokemon card. It's the box is right here. This one is P33. It's a Hisuian uh, Gudra and uh, pretty cool looking card. Not of high value though. It sold $2.70 plus shipping. I think I had it listed at three. Then when Macari had the button to reduce everything by 10% to automatically update so there was no fees, this got caught in there. So uh, anyway, 270 plus shipping, no fees. Um, and uh, so I'll make 270 on that. Almost pays for half the pack. All right, my workday is done here and I have one more order. So let's grab that because I have all the time in the world and my, uh, I have my hat off. My hair is a mess. I've had a hat on all day. We're just going to deal with it and roll with it. It's a VHS set and it's right down here. Let me uh, dig it out. And this probably would have done better if it was DVDs, but I picked this up at Salvation Army months ago. I haven't been to Salvation Army store in forever. They really don't have very much. Uh, it's American Train Journeys, and they're all different uh, different trains and different things. And there's a, a stack of them. Uh, I'm not really sure how many there are, but there's a few in there. And these were in my death pile for a while. And then I listed them, and they sat on that shelf over there for a while. But these sold $13.49 plus shipping. I think I had them listed for $15 and sent an offer this morning. They accepted. They paid. They're going out the door. They're going to be easy to ship. I think I have a used Amazon box. These are going to set right into It'll be super, super simple. And that officially is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out there with me, trying to stay positive, even though last week was terrible. Uh, it's going to be better this week. I just know it. I will see you tomorrow on Wednesday. Well, it's Wednesday, and uh, we have a few items to pick, I guess, that are going out too. Two items sold on eBay, and they both sold today. I woke up with zero, and I thought, oh, great, nothing to show. But I do have something to show. They're both... Uh, one's a magazine, so I guess it's not quite media, but the first one is media and it's a DVD and it's a good sale. I know most of my DVDs sell for like five bucks, but not this one. This is The Projectionist uh, with Rodney Dangerfield and uh, it's a weird movie. I bought this when I worked at the movie theater because, well, I was a bit of a projectionist as well. I worked up in the projection booth and so this is out of my personal collection. It's uh, in excellent used condition. I probably watched the movie maybe once or something. And I was going through some things and uh, just on a whim looked it up and uh, it looked like it was a pretty valuable, pretty rare DVD. So I listed it. It sold full asking price, $32.99 plus shipping. Not bad at all for a used DVD. Can I find used DVDs worth $32.99 all the time? No. But hey, this one sold. Uh, the other is a lot of magazines. I got it out of a storage unit. It was in my 
book death pile. It eventually made it into a box right here where it sat on my shelf for several months. Is it worth a lot? No, but it sold and uh, let me grab those out. So they're in this bag right here just to keep them together. Uh, it's a lot of 11 cross stitch and country craft magazines. Uh, and uh, these are all from 1987 through 1993, not any full runs of any years or anything. And I have nothing into those. It was an estate sale where you were filling a box and basically getting a giant fruit box for like 10 bucks or something. And this didn't take up a lot of room at all. And I'm well on the profit uh, several years ago, a couple years ago at least, uh, for that sale. Anyway, those sold $11.99 plus shipping. And those will have to go, uh, well, they can't go media mail because they're magazines, they have advertisements. So they're going to go uh, Grand Avenge, I think is how I listed them. So uh, they will go out today too. Well, I got those two items packed up. I finished my work day and I have another order. I'm going to grab it because it's going to be super easy to pack. I got the sale right here. Plus I had an offer I sent out, I think in the morning or yesterday that it was just accepted. Maybe we'll see the payment go through because that's a much better sell than this. Uh, this is a lot or a skein, skein, skein of Red Heart Fabu Blend vintage yarn, probably from the 70s. And I picked that up in Tulsa when I first started reselling like three or four years ago. Well, it's been a while. I went to Tulsa, the marathon in 2019. So however long that was ago, that's how long I've had this. It just been sitting in a bucket since then. I've had it listed the whole time and I grabbed it because I didn't know what I was doing at that point. And uh, well, I paid for the trip with my reselling anyway. So that was kind of nice. But anyway, this finally sold. I got an offer and I accepted it today. It sold for $4.99 plus shipping. Uh, it's just one, so uh, there's not a lot there, but uh, I've sold yarn in the past and in lots, it sells really fast and in singles, it doesn't. And well, I'm just happy to see it go out, $4.99. Got the yarn all packed up and ready to go and the payment came through for that item and actually payment came through for a second item. So I have two more things to show you. This day is, uh, well, I'm getting excited over like two small sales, but it's more than I got last week, at least net profit after those refunds and such. So anyway, let me uh, let me get the items. They're right down here. First up is the bigger ticket item. Not huge, but for me lately, it's pretty great. This is a set of Mitchell and Ness uh, Chicago Bull shorts, and they're like, what are they? Uh, Marble Swingman shorts, but they're 5X. I picked these up at my local TJ Maxx, Ross's, one of those two places. And I think I paid nine bucks for them. And they sat over there for uh, a while, but I got them listed this last week and they sold within a week. These sold $40.49 plus shipping. The next item's a plush. Let me turn you around and let's see if we can figure out where it's hiding. So this one is a new plush. I got it in a mystery box or? something i don't even remember and uh, i don't remember which tub it's in give me just a second all right so that took a little longer than i thought but i found it right here it is a, a funny plush a p-h-u-n-n-y and it's a face hugger from alien i just thought it was cool i got it in a mystery box and i don't remember where i got the mystery box i don't think it was a uh like a store or a thing on the internet i picked it up somewhere yard sale estate sale uh, i don't close out store i don't even remember but I uh, didn't know I was getting it until I opened it. And I thought it was pretty cool. It sold for $14, but I don't remember if it was free shipping or plus shipping. Yeah, it was free shipping. So I think I had it listed at 16 free shipping and they uh, sent an offer for 14. I accepted. It's going out 14 free shipping. It weighs nothing. It's gonna be four ounces. So it's gonna be about four bucks maybe to ship out. So it's not too bad at all. I don't think out of that. With those two items being added, I have five now going out for the day, which I woke up and I had zero, so that's not too bad at all. I will see you all tomorrow on Thursday. Hey everybody, today is Thursday. It's the 4th of April. I have four items, I think, going out. I did have five, but I had someone on Macari cancel on me just a few minutes after making the purchase, and well, I accepted that cancellation. Macari now gives free returns, and I don't wanna see this item back. I'm gonna be nice to have the sale, but it wasn't gonna last. So we canceled that. Anyway, I have three on Macari. So Macari's actually firing today. Uh, three, not counting the one that got canceled. And I have one on eBay. Let's grab that one on eBay first. It's right down here. And uh, they're right here. It's a pair of women's like uh, yoga, hiking, running. I don't know, they're like tights, shorts. Anyway, these are a silly. I 
probably butchering the name, but you'll see it when I put it up here. And I picked these up in St. Louis when we were up there for Winter Jam. They sold in less than a day, $11.99 plus shipping. Now for the three on my car, the first one is a Linux item. It came out of the private pick I got right in the fall last year, and it's I have it in bubble wrap. Anyway, it is a, uh, you can kind of see it. It is a picture frame and it's a uh, ceramic or porcelain or whatever. And it's the last Linux piece that I got out of that order or out of that buy. And this sold $7.68 plus shipping. And I think I had sent out or offers or I had lowered the price and then I had that 10% off button. And that's how we got to that weird amount. But I'm happy for the sale because I no longer own that item. The next one's a Pokemon card. It's one I pulled yesterday, listed yesterday, sold. Well, I got the offer yesterday, but I accepted the offer this morning. It's right over here. And it is this one right here. It's a nice shiny gold card. It is a hyper rare. So not rare, not double rare. It's hyper rare. And uh, it's worth, uh, well, it sold for $10 and one penny. 10.01. And uh, the buyer sent an offer. I think I had it listed for 11 or 12. So I was happy with that. Especially on Macari with no fees. It's going to go out in a standard envelope. It's going to be super easy and quick to ship. Happy for the sale. And then lastly on Macari, it's kind of a special order. And I'm going to grab it. It's right behind you. It's in this old cigar box. And if you've watched the channel, you know, inside the box are a bunch of smaller boxes. And inside the smaller boxes are a bunch of chainsaw tie clips. Yeah, um, I sold the chainsaw tie clip. And a second one. And a third one. And a fourth one. And a fifth one. And a sixth one. And... A seventh one. My listing for the tie clips on Macari did state that I had multiples and to reach out if they wanted a bundle and I would build it for them. And I had a buyer reach out last week sometime asking about it. I said, sure, I do $7 a piece for them. I think at that point they were listed at 10 a piece and uh, didn't hear anything back. So I just assumed seven was too rich. But uh, I got a message yesterday and they said, hey, I'm getting married and I'm a huge a uh, chainsaw collector enthusiast and I want to get them for my groomsmen and uh, asked if I would do 50 flat free shipping if they got seven of them a little less than seven uh, after shipping but with no fees on Macari I said absolutely so I built the bundle with seven for 50 free ship and uh, they bought it immediately so those are going out seven of them for $50 plus shipping I might throw an eighth one in there as well, just to make sure that he has one for himself or I may throw something there. It's his wedding, right? And, uh, you know, uh, I appreciate the sale. So we're definitely gonna uh, stick something in there for him. And that's it. That's the four items or four sales I had. I know one item, one sale had seven and super excited to see those kind of go out. I still have, I don't know how many is left there, like 15 or something. A bunch more to go, and uh, that's pretty cool. Thank you so much for hanging out there with me today. I do appreciate it. I will plan on seeing you tomorrow on Friday. Hey, everybody. Today is Friday. It's the 5th of April. This is going to be just a little segment in this video. I only have one order going out so far, and uh, it's going to be super quick, I guess. I do have an offer that I accepted. I'm waiting on payment, so maybe we'll come back and have another one at least. But uh, I have this book set right here, and let me show you. Uh, it's a lot of two books. Picked them up at my local thrift a while back. Uh, 20 cents a piece, so 40 cents all in for me. Uh, the Universe, and what's this one? Mathematics, and they're science-y books, and they're uh, cool illustrated books like you'd have like at a book fair or something like that. There's big like pull-out posters and stuff in the back. They're pretty neat little books. Uh, these sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And they're a little heavy, but they're going to be easy to ship. Well, it's still Friday. That payment came through on that item that I accepted an offer on. And so let's get that out, too. It's going to be super quick. It's right in here. And it's another one of these uh, vintage Cardinal shirts. We sold the red Mark McGuire shirt not too long ago. This is a gray one. I think it says, like, Property of St. Louis Cardinals on the front. But it says McGuire and has his number on the back. Received an offer uh today and I accepted it. It sold for $10 plus shipping. This came out of the crafty storage unit. It's all profit and it's just been sitting in my death pile. So I'm happy to see it go. Those two items are going to be it for the day. Yard selling tomorrow. I'm super excited. And then uh, hopefully we'll have some sales over the weekend. I can show you Monday. 
I'll see you then. Hey everybody, today's Monday and it is the 8th of April. It's Eclipse Day here in the United States. And uh, where I live in Southern Illinois, we're actually, we're in totality. And we were in totality seven years ago or whenever the last eclipse was that came across. Uh, because the, where the X is in the United States, where the two came across, is actually uh, like 20 minutes from here. So, uh, and that's driving, so it's probably 15 miles or something. So, we're totally, uh, totally in totality. And it was pretty cool. I got a little bit of footage on the GoPro. I had it set up. And uh, I'll put it like right here. But uh, not the best footage, though, because GoPros really aren't made for, uh, you know, taking pictures and videos of the sun. Uh, they're really not made for reselling either, but they're great action cameras for, like, up-close action. And, uh, well, the sun is pretty far away. So, anyway, I have just a few orders. It's a slow, slow weekend. I did get out for yard sales on Saturday. Picked up a few things, but it was fairly disappointing. But that's okay. I got some things to sell. I'm going to get those listed. Anyway, five items, just five going out. Another very, very slow weekend. The first one is a necktie, and it's one I picked up at Goodwill uh, a few weeks ago, several weeks ago, I guess. It is this one. It's an old Miss necktie, and it's University of Mississippi. It's got the kernel, I think. I think that's the kernel on it, and picked it up at Goodwill. Less than two bucks, I think. I paid a dollar something. Sold $14.99 plus shipping. I do have one of these Zobie pins. It's right in here. And it's one of the Mowgli Christmas ones. So let's see if I can actually find it. Okay, there's, it's this one. It's number 523, which is this one right here. And it's Mowgli in a little wreath. And it's got the Gremlin as part of the wreath. It's pretty neat. This pen sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And then my last three items are all gonna be here in my stack of CDs and cassette tapes. Let me get those pulled up. I'll show you what they are. First up is this cassette for the Rossington Collins Band. It's a twin pack, it's got two well, I guess LPs, I guess, on this cassette. It sold on offer $5 plus shipping. Next up is this CD. It is Blondie, the best of. And uh, the CD's got some, uh, the case has got some cracks. I think both this and the cassette I picked up for less than a dollar at Goodwill. Received an offer on this one as well, $4 plus shipping, and I took it. And the last one is right here. It's the Wild River Band. It's got a big old crack right here in a small one in the back, but this one's not a commercial album, I guess. There's no UPC symbol and it's, uh, you know, it's like a, a local or regional group, I guess. I'm not really sure. It sold and it's going international. It's going to Sweden. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Normally on Monday, I show you what I've listed and I'll let you know this week, it was worse than last time. I think 16 listings is all I got up this week. It's just been busy. Uh, I'm gonna I'm redoing how this looks so I can make it easier for me and for me to have room for things. And so I just don't have time to get it up and get these packages to the post office uh, before, uh, before they close. Uh, due to the eclipse, I didn't take a lunch hour, left work early, watched the eclipse, now I'm back and the post office is gonna close in a bit. So I gotta get these things packed up. So forgive me, I'm sorry I don't have that. I do thank you so much for watching though and hanging out there with me this week. Uh, not a great week, but I feel like better than last week for sure. Last week I just felt beat up and uh, reflected in the thumbnail. But uh, this week, not great, but better. And so I'm hopefully gonna keep that trajectory going and I need to, do list, need to get my things that I bought on Saturday listed to do that. So we're gonna work on that. Once again, I do appreciate you watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or drop me a comment. Uh, I'd love to have your subscription if you haven't subscribed yet. That definitely helps us out here. And I just always like to end the video saying, I hope you have a great day. God bless.